I'm going to my first BD youth kind of assessment. Cute, nice, British dresser, she's BD, but it's easy to shorten it. And then youth is kind of everyone under 25. I think I'm still not really understanding the system, but we're getting there slowly. And I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride. But we first gotta clean my tack because I wanna make a good impression. I don't think it'd be very good if I turned up with dirty tack. But yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna clean my tack when I go live because it's really boring but I thought that you guys are missing out on some quality content, so that's why I'm doing it now. <laughs> All right, so we've got the new paper out, and I'm just gonna get my tech out, and then get started. Um, on second thoughts, this is gonna be really boring, so I'm just gonna voiceover it, because you guys said you like voiceovers, and I'm gonna watch some TV. I will swear by NAF Saddle Soap is like the best of all kinds, so that's the stuff that I use. Anyway, to start with, you start off by soaping the tag, which is what I did. Um, it's very chill, very relaxed, it means you can watch a lot of TV. And if you're wondering why I decided to strip clean, it's because I hadn't washed my tag in ages. I just finished soaping all the tags, and now I've got to wipe it all off. Uh, we still got our stirrups and my bits to do, and the saddle. It's gonna be a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. Also, yeah, that is a head collar because Fred has a fancy leather head collar so that he doesn't get the grime and dirt of his regular head collar on his clean face when I kind of get him ready in the morning. So that's a little life hack, I guess. Um, anyway, yeah, his tack was also a little bit disgusting because the ground is so muddy at the moment that whenever I go out hacking, he just gets covered in mud. I've just cleaned my saddle. It was at a really bad angle, so you're probably not going to see. And I'm currently leaving it to kind of soak with moisturizer because the girth straps were a little bit... I don't know, they were, they were a bit dry. So we're going to get on to doing my stirrups and my bit, which as you can see, have been soaking overnight because they were kind of kind of horrific. Not the bit, but the stirrups were disgusting. Like when I went to a lesson the other day, uh, I'll put in some clips and now my boots and my stirrups were just brown. I don't know how anyone didn't notice when I posted it, but yeah, it wasn't fun. So we're gonna do that and then we can put my brown back together as well. Yay! My stirrups are a little bit tricky to clean, so that's why I use a toothbrush and then you'll also see me using like toothpicks and like the wooden stick things to get in the holes because they're kind of cheese grated stirrups. I didn't buy them. I don't know what brand they are. They came with Fred, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty nice. They're not safety stirrups though, so I am kind of looking into getting some of those. Um, but yeah, that's kind of his stirrups. They're black. They go with most things. I don't really know I'm, why I'm describing the stirrups because you can literally see them in front of me but that's fun. Um, they haven't been properly cleaned out in like a couple months, so the water is a little bit rancid, but we roll with that, you know? The stirrups are clean now, so let's do a bit. I mean, why do you think we're gonna put the bridle back together? Because these are kind of clean after being soaked. But yeah, let's do that. Now you may think this footage is sped up, but actually I'm just really fast at putting bridles back together because I've been trained to do it since I was a child for horse and pretty competitions. So um, yeah, this is real time speed. In case you are wondering, I'm just part of the X-Men. Alright, so Fred's dress on the bridle. I mean, this is dress I've put on. It's all ready to go. So I've just got to sort out the rest of this tag. <laughs> also, excuse my hair. I don't know, really know what's happened to it. We'll sort it out at some point. This is Fred's strong slash cross country bit, um, which Percy's actually using at the moment, and then his stirrups I pre put onto the dressage length so I didn't have to do it on the day. Life hack. Well, everything's done, and I'm about two and a half episodes further into finishing Death in Paradise. I am kind of hungry, so they get me right now. So obviously, Fred's tag's ready, but my. not my tag, but like my stuff that I'm gonna be wearing is nowhere near ready. And then we're also gonna get Fred ready to, I need to pat him, and then I also might need to give a bar depending what state he's in, but we'll find out, we'll figure that out later. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. I've been training a lot, like the extra exercise and stuff, so I'm really hoping that it kind of all pays off. Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited. Okay, let's just ignore the fact that the wardrobe doors are not fully decorated. I am still trying to go through my rosettes to redecorate it properly but that's beside the point that could be that could be another video who knows matt we need to get my shirt my jacket and my jocks out 
Then I gotta go find my show hat and my boots. And then I think that's me all ready for tomorrow. <laughs> and I'm going to assess the situation with Fred to see how much mud he has on him and then if he is muddy then I can give him a bath. This is, I forgot to say in the last one, but this is the kind of shampoo that I use with Fred. I'll link it down below as well. I'm not sponsored by any one. All the products I use are just kind of, that was loud, um, are just products that I genuinely like and I want to share that with you guys because why would I not share good products with you? I don't know, sharing is caring, that's what I'm saying. But we're gonna check out and see how of oh, Sorry, I just realized how sleepy Percy looks at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how dirty Freddy is and then we can get on to, I don't know, getting him ready. Hey there. You don't look too bad, to be fair. Don't know about your feet or anything. He stayed in last night as well, so that might help. Can I get you out? No. like an initial assessment of Fred's situation and his tail is pretty disgusting like it's covered in hay and mud but I mean see that, that's brown I'm gonna have a black tail um so we're going to give him a bath unlike last time it's a little bit warmer so I'm not gonna do the bucket technique we're actually gonna use the hose pipe but yes let's let's do this let's do this um I've just quickly put Fred's rug back on and I'm gonna sort out his mane and his tail because it's a little bit horrendous, no, no offence, no offence. I'm sure you love it, but I don't know what everyone else is going to think. What? You're not getting fed right now. Um, and then I will check back in for the plaiting process, because I want to do some of it tonight to save me a little bit of time. What? Okay, so Fred's slightly asleep now, because I've been... Oh, see, he's like... <laughs> he's been asking for cuddles the whole time, but I have thinned out his mane a little bit, so it's a little bit more plaitable, and I'm going to do that now. You call yourself a free spirit, a wild thing, and you're terrified somebody's going to stick you in a cage. Maybe you're already in that cage and build it yourself. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought, so I'll see you when it's done. Okay, you can see it looks like a weird little dinosaur at the moment. Um, I'm going to stop filming now because I need to actually concentrate on doing stuff, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the day. I've just woken up. My hair is still a mess. I feel like that's a running theme on this channel. I just don't sort my hair out. But you know, oh well. But I'm very, very excited. Okay, this might not be that exciting for you, but it's very exciting for me. We've got a new frying pan. So before I'd have to like balance it on the side because it's at the bottom of the flat. But now we've got an actual flat frying pan. Um he's melting the butter at the moment. Um and then we're gonna omelette. <laughs> no, I am actually so excited for today though. Like, that's the thing, if you didn't know, I get very nervous for things, and the fact that I'm actually excited and not really scared, it's quite an achievement. I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. Like, um, I feel like in the last few times that I've been out places, apart from when Freddie was screaming for Percy, that competition, <laughs> Yeah, you've probably seen the videos. I've actually been doing pretty good, you know? Like before I just kind of lock my hands up and then forget how to ride and just kick him manically, which is not very good at all. Um, but we're on the up. My nerves are starting to disappear. Hopefully, I don't want to break today by saying that. But apparently it's kind of like more of a, the first bit, it's more of like a kind of coaching thing. Like they'll kind of, coach you through it I think that's what I've been told at least and then the second bit the test riding is obviously a test 
sick. It's gonna be alright. Also, I don't know whether I have to warm up or not um, beforehand. There's less time to do that because I've spent with time to warm up rather than not leaving time. So I know this is probably making any sense, but my eggs are all whisked and now I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Let's go see some pony eggs. Um, Freddy, what have you done? This is not how we left you last night. Why is your rug over there? You got a lot of questions. Uh, because my horse has a sense of humour and thinks that because I washed him last night, he gets to take his rug off and get as money as he can. I have to go grab his rug from his field. Why? Why are you like this? No, but seriously. Do you think you're a comedian? Do you think you're that funny? Yes. It's not that funny, Freddy. It's very funny. It's not that funny. Oh, tiny. You didn't take your rug off last night. You don't have a rug. But we're going to see what state Freddy's rug is in. It's kind of just lying in a heap on the floor. And there are skid marks. Right behind, right beside it. I don't know what he's done. We have a broken fillet string, it looks like. There is, there's grass inside of the rug. There's like mud everywhere. The neck cover is still intact. What are the straps like? No, the straps are all done. How has he done this? Oh, so he must have. He must have broken the fillet string and then it just came over his head. Yeah, it looks like with these that he like came to a halt, it flew over his head and then it landed on the floor. At least that's the theory I'm working on, that he just broke the fillet string and then it just came over his head. I used to be a detective. I think that's a pretty good working theory. Maybe watching those episodes of Death in Paradise did actually pay off because like now I'm a detective and I worked out how we did it. Just saying, just saying. So while Fred's eating, I'm just gonna take what's left of his rugs off and then I'm gonna start grooming him. Hair's a little bit better, we can roll with it. I've taken my big coat off because I was a little bit warm and that's a little jumper and puffer on. So let's do it. All right, so Fred is de-rugged and looking gorgeous. He's not actually as muddy as I thought he would, but I'm gonna give him a quick brush and then I'm gonna go and hose off his legs, his little feet, cause they got quite muddy last night. The fields have been really wet because of all the storms and rain and stuff. So that's probably why. I don't think he has anything to do with him taking his rug off cause it doesn't look like he rolled after he did that. He probably scared himself too much. Was that that scary? Of course. But I'm gonna roll his pats up and do his body and then we can go do his feet. Is that like a plan, Fred? Sure, you do you. I got hay. Cool, okay. There is so much love to give. Something's telling me it's right. When you came to me, oh, I knew it's you, yeah, boy. The one who showed me now and forever. No, you never be alone again. Okay, so I think his pants are done. Um, I might need to redo one or two of them in due time just because they're a little bit, little bit iffy, you know, they're not the best but shots you're done, Annabella Pidgey, they had to sell out somewhere too I'm not saying I'm ever going to be like them but you know, we can dream but I think we're going to take him out, we're going to do his feet and then hood on, travel boots on, good to go I'm running to time at the moment which is excellent are you excited? I'm quite excited. Oh, we still didn't do his tail though. That's something. It was in a plait last night, like so it should be still sparkling clean. But if not, then we can also do that when you do your feet. I don't think he cares that much. I think he just wants to eat. His tail's looking good. And we have a new bottle of Shoshin. There we go. There's the product. I think it works well. Some people don't like it. A little bit of controversy there. Um, but his tail's looking good. Just gonna give it a brush. And we can do our feet. Again. You want to be with me anyway, don't you? You've got 
Oh. Hello, sir. Do you want to come today? I don't think you like being ridden. You won't have to stay here on your own. Perhaps you'll come back, though. Please, please don't eat me. Oh, too late. That's my ear. Honey, you're seriously cute. I'm blind. You cannot eat people's ears. She's just sunbathing at the moment. Yeah. You ready for some boots? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have arrived. Hey Brad, did you have a nice journey? Kinda. I think you did. He's very excited. Mum's just gone down to the bottom over there to just check everything's ready to time and what we kind of have to do. We kind of like a pretty good idea, but you know, just making sure everything's all good and what we think it's going to be. Are you excited? I want to sleep. You look quite excited. It's not that windy, it's not that cold. It's pretty good Friday conditions if I say so. So that's quite fun. Turns out we don't need to warm up for anything, so we have like an extra 20 minutes, which is nice. Before you ask, no, we didn't actually have to wear show stuff. Mum got confused. I didn't think we had to. We had to wear um, smart training stuff, but everyone was really nice about it. They only made a big deal about it, so that was good. I was also asked some theory questions, which I didn't actually train for, seeing as I had my potential B test, so that was a bonus. In the lesson slash assessment part of the day, we worked on Fred being more reactive off my aids. So kind of doing canter, trot, walk, going in between all of the paces. And so when we did the rider skills test, he was super. amazing i'm gonna load for it and then we can go um we've also had a really good chat with one of the bd youth ambassadors so that was really fun everyone's been really nice and welcoming and yeah i need to recommend coming to one of these it was amazing fred's been a very good boy um, my hair is still a mess your hair's a mess now because i've taken your plaits out and we're gonna head home <laughs> me and fred just want to say thank you for watching today's video we're still quite new to bd so we don't really know what we're doing but it's a work in progress and I hope you stick around to see what else we get up to.